And the Lord says that during this season, is bringing deliverance to you from every spirit of Lucas. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus let, every spirit let every spirit of locust, of locust that, is that is eating my harvest, my, harvest, my, blessing, my blessing, my prosperity, my prosperity let, that let that spirit be rebuked, be rebuked by, the by the blood of Jesus, of Jesus by, the by the name of Jesus, of Jesus and let every locust, and let every locust in, my life in my life die, die perish, perish in Jesus' name. Jesus, I, disconnect I disconnect myself from the spirit, from the spirit of, the locust. of the locust. The spirit of the locust is a demon that causes strangers to reap what you have soon. Strangers, you will sow, you will, you will labor in things, and outsiders will come and take. You will work for a company so hard. Hire trained people, but I tell you, when it is time for promotion, another person will be picked, handpicked for that position. Because there's a spirit of what? Low cost. You will do things, and when it is time to for acknowledgement, they will not acknowledge you who did the hard work and put in all the hard work to prepare. Somebody will come and take your stardom or they will begin to give your praise to somebody else for something they did nothing you did all the hard work and some of us that's all we are doing we are working so hard and some supervisor is taking all the what the glory and all the praise the managers come and they say oh wow you've done a good job you've done a good job man this place is so neat but what they don't know that behind the scenes you are the orchestrator and working things out but you are not recognized, you are not appreciated, you are not even known. Because the spirit of locust will not let you be noticed, recognized, appreciated, and favored. There's a monitoring demon that attacks and destroys your blessings and your productivity. It's a what? A monitoring spirit. Why am I saying it's a monetary spirit? It will be waiting patiently when you are going through the struggle, the suffering, the hard work, and the tribulations and all the pain of schooling. They will not show up. It is only when you have gone through schooling and you are about to take your exams to graduate, then they show up to come try and disturb you. Or you go to school, you finish, and you are about to get a job, a decent job. Then they begin to show up to destroy you. Every time when you are going through the hard work, they will not show up. It is you working so hard. It, they only show up when it is time for harvest. You put in the hard work in the relationship. You were able to give the guy money. You were able to sacrifice your time for the person to do many things. When it is time for engagement and something, this guy will say, I'm not interested. Let us just be friends. What do you mean? All the time I was cooking for you, I was giving you money, I was sacrificing my time, did many things for you. And now, when it is time for me to marry, you are telling me, let us just be friends. And they will leave you for another woman. It is a monetary spirit. It only shows up when it is your time of breakthrough. It is your time of celebration. It is your time of success. It is your time of victory. They will come in and steal your blessings from you. It's a monetary spirit. So it monitors people. You go for the interview and you are struggling, putting things together. They will not show up. Only show up when it is time for a breakthrough. Then they will come and deny you. It comes to reap your harvest and deny you the fruit of your labor. It doesn't show up when you are struggling or working hard to make it in life. It waits until you have received. It waits until you receive your breakthrough after your hard work and bring and when you, it, you are about to receive the blessings, the breakthroughs, then this demon will come and steal it from you. Immediately you get money or a breakthrough, it shows up to consume it. Some of us, we work so hard to make money. Immediately you get the money and you say, okay, now I can use this paycheck for this project to buy this or buy that. A problem will come. We'll deal with that. It is a monitoring demon that causes serious limitation on people's destinies. 
just yesterday somebody was telling me for some reason i can't save past this amount of money for some reason i've checked that over the years i can't save past this amount this figure she gave me the exact figure i don't want to say it i can't save past every time i'm saving and i'm about to get into this i will, something will happen and i'll be manipulated to give borrow the money to people who may not pay or use the money or something will happen and the money will just go away i can't pass this it will bring limitation it causes people to be unemployed listen to the strategy here listen to the strategy of the local spirit we are talking about the demon of locusts the spirit of locusts the witchcraft of locusts it causes people to be unemployed for two or three or more years so that during that time the the people because of unemployment and depending on uh unemployment money a time will come they will stop after some time and because you are unemployed you begin to spend all your savings until you are back to ground zero so a person begins to start making money why because they have gotten a good job and they are so excited because of the good job they don't pray because of the good job they don't fast because of the good job they don't want to serve the lord because of the good job they don't have time for god or give to god and to support the kingdom of god the devil says okay all i'll do is that i will allow you so you use this whole year working four jobs three jobs double jobs the devil says go ahead make the money make the money make the money so you are making money you are making money you are making money let's say you make Fifty thousand dollars that year, sixty thousand, seventy thousand, hundred thousand. The devil doesn't mind. You've been working. Then the person says, "I. It is my money. Why should I give my ten percent? It's my money. Why should I give to God? It's my money. I have to work, so I can't pray. It's okay. But when the spirit of locust set in, it will hit you with unemployment, and then delay you and deny you from getting a job for more than." six months one year two years so that now that you're on a play you begin to now eat spend on your savings and then by the time you finish it to you the person's or life savings is all depleted to ground zero and now the person has used everything and if he doesn't take care they are coming for his house they are coming for his car they are coming for this why because low cost will come for your harvest and that's why whenever you see people going through unemployment for six months and over check and begin to pray against the spirit the demon and the witchcraft of the local spirit because they are causing you to eat to they are deep, causing you to de, they are stealing your labor the fruit of your labor that you should have been depending on supporting on now you are eating it and then bring you back to square one genesis with everything gone this demon can bring, listen to this, deceivers, scammers into your life to influence you to make some wrong financial decisions that will cause you to lose huge sums of money. Scammers. Sometimes people will tell you, hey, there's an investment here. Why don't you take your money? You, you, you've been ma making money. And they, 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 you don't know. Somebody will come and use their smooth talk to convince you about this savings and investing here or entering into a business or take your investment and put it into this. And they would. it is the locals that, that has spent them. He has sent them to come and destroy your finance. Then the person will take their money and invest it into something only to realize that it was a scam. They are deceived. The thing they invested in they didn't work out. Their money is gone. Yeah, th that investment is gone. There was a time people invested in their 401k into some things and the thing collapsed and all their life savings were gone. It is the local spirit that allows deceivers, scammers, others too, they'll come to you and begin to trick you. Reverend Case has sent an email or on Facebook that everybody should bring money in. These scammers that send you emails telling you that they are your uncle, your friend, and that they need $5,000 because they are in, and their people are manipulated and then they send money and the scammers scammers today scammers are using computer through email facebook social media platforms to steal even hacking into people's finances i count it it is the spirit of locust it is the spirit of look coming for your hard work coming for your harvest coming for your productivity coming for the fruit of your labor 
Say Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father every, locust every locust coming after, coming after my, fruit, my fruit, coming after, coming after the fruit of my labor, the fruit of my coming labor, after coming my, after, harvest, my harvest, my blessing, my blessing in, the in the name of Jesus. Of Jesus I, rebuke I rebuke every spirit of locust, every, spirit every of demon locust, of locust, every, demon every of witchcraft locust. locust. Every I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you, I rebuke you by the blood of Jesus. I, you by I the blood cast of you out of my blessing. I cast you out of my blessing. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Many financial mistakes are locust. They are coming for your money. The demon is responsible for making people go through life without achieving and having nothing to their name. You remember that when the Midianite came in, the Bible says they destroyed. These were wicked people. People have labored and it's time for harvest. They didn't just come to steal their produce and harvest, but they just deliberately destroyed them until they had no sustenance. These are evil spirits, local spirits, witchcraft spirits that just come to destroy. Destroy your, your finances, destroy your, your, your money, destroy your investment, destroy every blessing. They just want to destroy marriage, health, anything that looks like a blessing. Destroy 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 say in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i rebuke i rebuke every locust demon every locust demon in jesus name in jesus name now let me give you examples so you know what you are talking about these are serious examples you struggle in life with your spouse when it's time to enjoy the blessing in your marriage and your family this locust demon spirit or witchcraft will cause divorce separation so that another woman comes to enjoy the blessings of your spouse another some of you this strange woman this delilah woman jezebel woman who is interfering with your current marriage to try to replace you so that they can take over your matrimonial home it is a local spirit that has sent them a locust demon that has sent them a locust power from your background that is sending them i rebuke that spirit in the name of jesus Amen. a typical example i'm sorry to use this example but it is so that people can get it nelson mandela and his wife winnie mandela were married for about 38 years 38 years and Mandela was in prison for what? 27 years. During the time of Nelson Mandela's imprisonment, Winnie Mandela stood with the husband because of their belief for their nation, South Africa, to fight apartheid. They stood together for the system because of apartheid. They put the husband in prison for 27 years. But this lady stood with the husband all the, during the trials. Guess what the spirit of locusts can do? She stood with her husband all throughout the many years of hardship in South Africa apartheid regime. Immediately, immediately, that Mandela was released after 27 years in prison and 38 years in marriage. The demon of locusts brought divorce. Mandela became president soon after his release from prison, but divorced Winnie Mandela two years after. After waiting 38 years in marriage, 27 years of wait, now you come from prison. And what happens? Two years, the devil manipulated his situations. And then Winnie had to go. Mandela had to let Winnie go, divorce Winnie. And now another woman married Mandela. So all the time Mandela was a president, it was another woman. That wasn't Winnie Mandela. Another woman was the one who was taking the center stage, taking the glory, take, enjoying. She wasn't there when they were going through the apartheid. She wasn't there when Mandela was 27 years in prison. She wasn't there when Winnie was struggling to take care of the case and struggling for the help. But when it was time for Mandela to come out to become a president after 27 years imprisonment, where was Winnie? Who was supposed to be there? The devil had scattered her by the locust demon. This thing is very real. Mandela married a new wife and enjoyed his blessing with a new wife. When he died, most of the, his inheritance went to his children and their new wife. Winnie Mandela worked only for another. Winnie Mandela worked only for another woman to enjoy. She labored 
and a locust came to steal her harvest. I want you to pray this prayer with holy anger. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the, power of the, Holy by the blood of Jesus. By the blood of I, will I will not sit down. For the locust spirit. For the locust spirit. The locust demon. The locust, demon, the locust witchcraft. The locust witchcraft. To steal my harvest. To steal my, harvest, to steal my blessing. To steal my, to steal blessing, my prosperity. To steal I will not allow, I will not allow another, locust another locust to replace me, to replace me from enjoying my blessing. I will enjoy the fruit of my labor. I will enjoy my blessings. I will enjoy my prosperity. I will enjoy my breakthrough. In the mighty name of Jesus. I will not die. For a, a stranger to enjoy my blessings. For a stranger to enjoy my blessings. I will not lose my crown. I will not lose my crown. I will not lose my blessing. I will not lose my blessing. To another person. To another person. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You don't say it and look at me. You don't say it and look at me. Some of you labor, 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 labor. When it is time for harvest, you have breast cancer. Oh, all the troubles you went. Now that. By God's grace, you are beginning to see some breakthroughs and some miracles. Now they are telling you you have cancer and you are about to die. So when the locust kills you, how are you going to enjoy this blessing? This thing is serious. Take it seriously. Locust. Locust demon. Locust demon. You work hard for somebody else to replace you and to steal your blessing. You work hard, hard, and suffer, and suffer. And now that you have broken through, you have struggled in college. You have struggled to gra graduate. How many times have you failed? How many times have you failed? How many times have you failed? And by God's grace, fasting, praying, fasting, praying, fasting, praying. Finally, you were able to graduate from school. You graduated from school. But you fasted, prayed, you get a job. Now that you're about to get, then the devil hit you with one sickness. And you are bedridden. You can't, you can't even use the certificate anymore. You are sick. Hey, locust demon, please don't be looking at me like that. You have no idea what I'm talking about. Locust, the spirit of locust. One lady I know, not Charlotte, not Carolina, came to the conference. She did everything to get married. She did everything. She couldn't get married in the U.S. because she did everything. Spirit husband says will not let you marry. So she did everything in U.S., no man is coming, no relationship is holding. She went to her country to go and marry a man by force and brought the, money, the man here. Now, if you don't let me marry in the U.S., I'll go to my country, Cameroon, and marry me a, a man. And you know, everybody wants to come to the U.S., so if you want to marry me, I'll marry you. The man just came because the woman is desperate. He came. Later on, the man called me and said, after we married one week, two, a month ago or so, this woman is dead. Low cost, low cost. She brought the man, but low cost did not let her enjoy the marriage. You have married all right, you have what married all right, but you are not enjoying your marriage. You have married all right, but you are not enjoying your marriage. Why? Because low cost will not let you enjoy the, the your labor, the fruit of your labor, your harvest. You have married, but your marriage is not blissful. You have, there's no peace, there's no joy, there's no love in this marriage. It is not marriage. You are co-tenants, co-tenant, roommate. Roommate is the best way to put it. Why? Because locusts will not let you. You got a job all right, but please, it is just namesake. You are as broke as the church mouse. Church what? Rat or mouse or whatever it is. The spirit of the locusts. Say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. In the name. In the name of Jesus, of Jesus Christ, during this season, during this season of, jubilee, of jubilee, every locust demon, every locust, demon, every locust spirit, every locust, spirit, every locust witchcraft, every locust witchcraft, from my mother's house, from my mother's house, from my father's house, from my father's house, after my life, after my life, monitoring my destiny, monitoring my I destiny, I curse that locust demon, I curse that, I curse, demon, I curse that locust spirit. I I curse that locust witchcraft to die by fire, die by fire, die by fire, die by fire, 
I break myself loose and free from the spirit of locust. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord God himself today deliver you. Amen. Deliver you from the spirit of the locust. Why can't you get a job? Why doesn't relationship work? Why have people been using you, using you, using you, dumping you, using you, dumping you, exploiting you, taking advantage of you? You, everybody's taking advantage of you. Everybody. Why? Because low cost, low cost. You say dump her, she cannot get nothing from it. People pay your good with evil because low cost. Another example: when you work hard to receive your paycheck, immediately you get the money. Your car breaks. A breakdown. Police will pull you and give you a ticket. I saw one guy. He was proud in telling me in Canada. He said, Reverend K, I mean, every, uh, every month I get about five to six um, tickets. And I said, this is serious. This is demonic. He says, no, because maybe I just love to speed. So that's why. And I said, no, this is witchcraft manipulating you for the devil to every month. Ticket. Police ticket. Police ticket. Police ticket. Police ticket. Then one day we were dealing with this issue of what? Low cost. And he went to, he was igniting his car to start his car and it wasn't starting. He went to open the car engine. And to his amazement, mice, you know, mice, mice were mice, and mice had given birth to a lot of mice in the engine. The engine of his car was full of mice. The witches in his family has made. <laughs> had allowed the mice to be giving birth to other mice no wonder this guy they were stealing his finances stealing his finances every month and he thought it was just police ticket he says if if i put all the ticket together i could have bought a house for years every month five six ticket and some of us that is the kind of locust that is eating our finances eating our harvest eating the labor the fruit of our labor we have nothing to show off your car is breaking, your AC is breaking, your television is breaking. Everything that can be broken is breaking. Things are spoiling and you have to replace them. Your computer is breaking. Some people, it is so bad that when you get, you buy a computer or anything, they'll tell you the warrant date, right? She bought a computer and the computer broke just after the day of the warranty. After The day after. So when she went, they said, you know what, if you had come yesterday... You we would have given you but the local spirit will make sure that she went the day after and so her computer she had to replace it for new and spend another money and keep her in financial poverty the bible says when the midianites came they they impoverished they impoverished the israelites and some of us this is our financial predicament this is why we cannot express joy in anything that we do because spirits of locust witchcraft of locust curses of locusts are fighting against you but today by this prophetic word and revelation in your life i command and i declare and decree over your life oh lord let the spirit of locusts in your life be rebuked in the name of jesus be rebuked in the name of jesus be rebuked by the blood of jesus i disconnect you i disconnect you i disconnect you from the influence of local spirit in jesus name police ticket car breaking emergency you have an estate of emergency this is where many of you are bewitched one of the ladies yesterday i was talking to her, she says that immediately i get money and i'm getting to my target objective of how much i want to save people people will come to me and borrow money the devil will always use people especially family members to deny you destiny and some of you we are all supposed to be givers we are all supposed to help one another but this is a trend a cycle that you have seen over the years that every time you get money to use it for a specific assignment to bring god's purposes and our, our prophecies and god's assignment for your life into pass somebody will come up with an emergency just to borrow the money or take the money from you so that and some of us it has been a cycle a cycle for years i'm talking about five years ten years it is not just ordinary people coming for you it is the locals manipulating people that whenever you get money it will 
attack them to come for you and steal your money so that oh but you know what i've been helping my brother and helping my sister and helping my cousin and helping everybody in the family the question is that when will you help yourself when will you help yourself all the people you've helped they are moving forward they are moving ahead they are left you behind yes still you haven't been able to accomplish anything with your life why because they used people God, the bible says that help do, if you want to love people love your neighbor what as yourself love your neighbor what as yourself not more than yourself meaning that as much as you are helping people to fulfill their destiny make sure that your own destiny your own purpose your own vision of god for your life is being accomplished don't go and stand before god and give an excuse that god i couldn't fulfill my dreams and visions and purpose and aspirations that you gave to me because i was using all my time and all my money on people you were not wise servant you are not a wise servant some of you if you don't stop this bewitchment you allow people to distract you and you will keep on going through this cycle and up to date your life is stagnant whilst the people you've been helping they've moved forward and then they look back and say look at her she's not doing anything with her life we came here to meet her but look at her we are all moving forward but look at her she has not been able to even get her apartment she has not and you ask yourself wow be wise a word to the wise is enough. The spirit of the locust. It will manipulate emergencies. A man was so, you see how this locust spirit works. It is all about impoverishing us. So it has impoverished everybody in your family because of a generational stronghold. Hidden cases, covenant. Now, because you are a Christian, you pray, you fast. The Lord has allowed you to express some level of breakthrough. So now the whole family is dependent on you. So now what the devil says is that since I can't get to her because she serves God, since I can't get to her because she fasts and prays and she's a giver, I will use her family to impoverish her. So now what then the devil does is that he knows he can't come to you straight. So now he begins to use the family, the family. Today, go for five dollars. Tomorrow, you go for five dollars. So now everybody has become dependent on you. One person, if you are to feed everybody, no matter how much millions you have, it will disappear. It will be squandered. And that's how some of us, it doesn't matter how much, everybody is dependent. A man was going through the same predicament, same plight, and said, no, there's something wrong. I've been giving out money, out money to the family, money to the family, to everybody in the family. And yes, to nobody's getting better, but rather I'm now also about to become like them. No, he said to them, now nobody is to come to me unless you go and do, you go for deliverance. And he told them, and they picked themselves, went for deliverance, and they told them the whole family is under the spirit of locusts. It's under poverty. If the person had not forced them, sometimes you have to be tough. If you don't force them to also learn to be blessed themselves, I'm telling you, they will sack you. They will sack every blessing from you through the spirit of locusts until you are impoverished. So now he told them, go and look for deliverance. Because I'll never give any family member any money until you have sought for deliverance. Because otherwise, I'll be putting money into a basket or like putting water in a basket. You, it will keep on draining. At the end of the day, the devil will reduce you to be like them. Why? Because every time people put too much pressure, no matter how, how much you have, at a time, you lose everything. May the Lord say, Heavenly Father. Father. In, the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, deliver me, deliver me from, the spirit from the spirit of locust. Of locust. This locust demon can make you a slave to your extended family. It will put the problem or burdens of the entire extended family. I'm not talking about even your nuclear family. I'm talking about the extended your nuclear father is your wife, your children, but the extended family is your uncles and nieces and cousins and everybody else is putting pressure on you. Be careful. Be careful. Immediately you get money to be used for, to fulfill your dreams and vision, your extended family will call upon you to bring the money to solve urgent family crisis. Because of this manipulation, witchcraft, locust manipulation, from the locust demon, many people have used all their money an investment to help solve extended family issues without doing anything for themselves and their own nuclear family. You are helping everybody in, the, in, in your extended, but you realize that you have not been able to even help your own 
nuclear family. Your wife are suffering, your children are suffering, you are suffering at the expense. Don't be a hero to the world and be a zero to your family. That's what God told me recently. Don't you be a hero to the world, whereas you are a zero. You have no help. You have no benefit to your own family. Don't be a hero to the world. Whilst you are a zero to your own children, to your own husband, wife. If, remember this philosophy. Love your neighbor as, not more than. Only Jesus is able to love us more than. Don't kill yourself for man. Love your neighbor just as yourself. So just as I love myself, so will I love you. But I'm not going to die for you. Only Jesus can die for you. So I will love myself. And the same level of love I have, I will extend it to you. So I will take care of my bills. And then after that, I'll help you with my bills, your bills. I will take care of my vision. Just as I take care of your vision. Love your name. If you don't learn this simple, you it, I'm, I'm not here to talk to everybody. Because I've seen how many people are in bondage and captivity for so long. If you learn this principle, you will break yourself of the locust demon and you start fulfilling dreams and visions and purpose. I'm telling you, if you die for family, when you are gone, they will replace you. If you die for a company, if you die, they will replace you. Make sure that you are true to yourself and your nuclear family and then from the love you have, you extend it to every other person. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let's pray some prayers. We are going to pray some prayers. Say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. Please say these declarations with me and believe it. And God is going to change something. Something is happening in the spiritual realms. Something, the reason you are hearing this message is because God, don't come and tell me, pray for, no, no, just believe. Because the word is bringing deliverance. The word is bringing deliverance. The word is bringing deliverance. The Bible says true knowledge, the righteous. Today God says that no more will you experience locust eating your harvest. No more will people take your place no more will the locusts block you from and deny you of your blessing no more it is over say in the name of jesus in the name of jesus no more no more will i, will I be a captive be a captive to the locust demon to the locust demon. in the name of jesus in the name of jesus say heavenly father, heavenly father in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus, i command i command every spirit every, spirit, every, demon, every demon every witchcraft, every witchcraft locust, locust eating up, eating up my, finances, my finances my blessings, my blessings to, catch to catch fire and die, and die. Every, locust, every locust every locust that is eating up, that is eating my, up financial my financial blessing I command you right now, you catch, right fire now. catch fire and die. and die please lift up your voice and begin to pray this aggressive prayer every locust demon every locust spirit every locust witch that is eating up my financial blessing i command you during this season of jubilee blessing i command you to fall down and die fall down and die fall down and die in the name of jesus i command every spirit of locust every demon of locust fighting my finances i curse you to die 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 in the name of jesus every spirit of locust fighting my financial blessing fighting my financial prosperity fighting my business fighting my job fighting my career fighting my finances anything to which is pertaining to my financial blessing i curse that locust i curse that locust i curse that locust demon to perish to die 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 any witch that works as a locust any demon that works as a locust any altar that works as a locust after my financial blessing i curse you to die 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 i re rebuke you in the name of jesus i rebuke you by the blood of jesus amen and amen please after this prayer you see what will happen into your life you will begin to break through say in the name of jesus in the name of jesus you demon you demon of locust, of locust. Devouring, devouring devouring my blessing, my blessing in, life. in life you demon, you demon of, locust, of locust causing me, causing me to, lose to lose my blessing my, blessing, my, inheritance, my inheritance my prosperity my, prosperity, my, breakthrough, my breakthrough devouring, devouring all, my all my blessing in the name of jesus, in the name of I, jesus command you, I command you fall down, fall down and, die and die by fire, by fire. Fall, down fall down and die, and die. By thunder, fall down, down and, die. and die. Every demon, every demon 
of no cost. Of no fighting. fighting. My blessing. My blessing. I curse you I curse to fall down, to fall down and down. down. Begin to pray. In the name of Jesus. I curse the spirit of locust. I curse the witchcraft of locust. I curse the demon of locust. Die! 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 Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. I curse you out of my life. Perish in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. Every blessings. Every blessings. Every finances. Every finances. Every prosperity. Every prosperity. That has been stolen. That has been, that has been destroyed. That has been, that has been devoured. That has been devoured. By the local spirit. By the local spirit. According to your word. According to your word. In Joel chapter 2 verse 25. In Joel chapter 2 verse You 25, said. You said. You will restore, you will restore the, years the years that the locust, that the locust has, eaten. has eaten. Father, Father restore, me now. Restore, me restore, now. Me restore me now. Restore me today. Restore me this week. Restore, restore me this week. month. Restore, restore me, me now. Restore Restoration me. now from every locust demon. Father, restore me. Restore my wasted years and my wasted possession. Restore my wasted years and my wasted possession. Begin to pray that the Lord should restore. <laughs> Rebascote rebada, rebascata rakata yada. Restore, 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 restore. Restore my wasted years. Restore my wasted blessing. Restore my wasted possession. Restore my wasted prosperity. Restore my wasted breakthroughs. Whatever the devil through the locust demon which up, powers or tests up, has eaten in my life. Lord, restore me today. Restore me now. Restore me today. Restore me now. Restore my marriage. Restore my finances. Restore my health. Restore my children. Restore my destiny. Restore my glory. Restore my strength. Restore my dignity, restore my crown, restore my strength, restore my destiny, restore my prosperity, restore, 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 restoration now, restoration now, by fire, by thunder, restore, restore my job, restore my position, restore my inheritance, restore my marriage, restore my destiny, restore my son, my daughter, my wife, my children, my family, my possession, my education, my life, restore my life, restore my life from the locust, from the locust, from the devourer, restoration. In the name of Jesus, I declare the decree that in this season of Jubilee, let the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, by his word in Joel 2.25, be restored. Be restored. Amen. Be restored. Amen. Be restored. Amen. Be restored. Amen. In Jesus' name. Say, I'm restored. I am 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 restored. In Jesus' name. Jesus. So shall it be. You will see. Take your communion and let's believe God. Thank you, Lord. This season of, how do you call it? Jubilee. Jubilee. Believe, oh, believe. You will do yourself great disservice if you don't believe. Believe and receive. Believe and receive. Simple as that. It is not time for lengthy prayers or pray for me. If you believe, you will see how God will rebuke that locust and you begin to begin to enjoy the fruit of your labor. Begin to experience breakthroughs, open doors and favors. Why? Because the locusts are no more. I prophesy. That somebody you shall receive a surprise, a surprise breakthrough, a surprise breakthrough, a surprise, a miracle is coming your way this week. A miracle, a breakthrough, a good news, a testimony, a praise report shall come through for you this week in the name of Jesus. Because the locusts are rebuked in Jesus' name. Father, as we partake of the precious blood, I pray that Father God, let your word that has come forth be confirmed and let it be established in the name of Jesus. Father, restore your children. Restore their health, restore their marriages, restore their body, soul, and spirit, restore their prayer life, restore their Bible studies, restore their zeal for you, their service for you, restore their ability to live a holy life, their ability to resist the devil, restore, restore, restore their strength, restore their health, restore their children, restore their jobs, restore their destiny, their glory, their star. Whatever the locust stole from them, in the name of Jesus, as we drink the blood, let there be a supernatural restoration. Restore. 
restore their relationship with you. Some of them have fallen from grace. Some of them have backslidden. Some of them have been entangled with the world. Lord, restore them to their first love. Restore them to their first love. And Father, draw them closer to you and let them walk with you in truth and in spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. See, I'm restored. I'm restored. I'm restored. I'm restored. I'm restored. Say it five times. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Um, today is the eighth day of our 21 days fasting. Anytime you join, you can join the fast. Some people ask, you are on the eighth day, can we join the fast? Any moment you join us, you click on and you are connected and you are listening to us, you can join the fast. It's uh, 21 days fasting you can join anytime you you you, you see us and then i believe the fasting is from 6 a.m in the morning to 6 p.m in the evening 6 a.m in the morning to 6 p.m in the evening and um we, during the fasting we drink water and we meet every evening at 11 p.m eastern time 11 p.m eastern time us 4 a.m those of you in london 5 a.m those of you in europe join us live on facebook KL bless um, KL blessing KL blessing is the Facebook and subscribe and also fresh fire prayer line all those of you watching from fresh fire prayer line before you exit please subscribe and hit the bell if you are also watching on KL blessing subscribe and hit the bell if you are watching us on Facebook please click on follow when you are done and connect to us and it shall be a blessing to you during this 21 days fasting God willing tomorrow we are continuing with our fasting 6 a.m in the morning to 6 p.m in the evening and we are believing god for our jubilee what jubilee blessing jubilee blessing for this month in the mighty name of jesus christ we thank god we bless him and we give him all the glory for how far he has brought us in jesus mighty name may god be with you and may the lord protect you uh, for any sacrifice any offering any giving go to our website www freshfireprayer.com www.freshfireprayer.com you have the church address uh, also the uh, Zelle the way to uh, pay through Zelle or PayPal and also if you're using Cash App it's Fresh Fire Prayer Fresh Fire Prayer all the information is on our website www.freshfireprayer.com and you can also buy the deliverance books also through ebook and kindle through the website in jesus mighty name we give glory and honor to our god for his good and his goodness and his mercies endure forever please continue with your bible studies for tomorrow your bible studies for tomorrow tomorrow we are also meeting at 4 p.m eastern time for our um, bible studies so join us at 7 p.m for bible studies us and 11 p.m for our prayer time may god richly bless you and i declare tomorrow is romans chapter 14 romans chapter 14 romans chapter 14 um, join us to read romans chapter 14 that's a scripture reading may god richly bless you prosper you and restore you from today the power of locust in your life has been broken in the name of jesus and you shall see the glory of god moving forward in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.